Hi guys and welcome to Born Anime. It's your girl Bruca. And Big Boy Summer here. Solo leveling, episode seven. Dongsu is the leader of the squad that Jinu was in last, and he basically annihilated the whole squad. Now his big brother or younger brother, I can't remember which, is now upset that his brother's died, obviously. And so we're gonna have a little bit of a revenge arc, right? Because you know, that's what happens. Before I even mention that, I want to talk about the investigation team just right quick. They did flag him. They did flag Jin Wu coming out of another dungeon, defeating the monster, and also being a part of the double dungeon. And so it seems like they were like, oh, maybe we need to look at this guy a little bit more closely. Just like we were saying last time, that they weren't looking at him enough, that they weren't flagging stuff. But to be honest, when it was brought to him, he was really nonchalant no, about no, it. I'm so, I'm so glad you said that. Because like, I was about to say, yeah, they flagged it and then, and then yeah. my guy just carried on about his business like it was nothing. Look, these guys aren't serious. No. <laughs> investigation team, what investigation? We don't know did, that yet. You did, you did the bit that mattered, you know, you put two and two together, but you haven't gone to collect the apples. I don't get it. Like, do you know what I mean? No, chill out. Let's give him some time. Let's give him an episode or two to actually get the ball rolling. But I did think he was a bit nonchalant and he was like, so what are you bringing it to me for? Go do, go investigate if you feel like it. And it's, it's concerning. Then when he saw who the brother was, Dong Su, Dong Su, Dong Su, yeah. When they saw who he was, they were like, oh, geez, this could be a problem. This actually could be an issue. So on his deathbed, he was like, do you know who my brother is? Do you know who I am? Looks like this is coming full circle. And my dude wants blood. He wants to kill both Jin Wu and Jin Ho. He wants them dead. And he's hoping that they survive so that when he goes on break, he can jet set over to their country kill him and leave listen 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 you're telling me to give this team that knows exactly where Jinu lives who held him in the hospital for so long had everything sorted for him some slack that's what you're saying okay i'll give him slack i'll give him two episodes <laughs> we'll see what happens in it i'm saying you know like th let's let them investigate he's he now sees who it is obviously everyone we don't know exactly who this dude is yeah okay we do we know who he is but like most people we don't know who this dude is we don't know what he's capable of we don't know really anything about him we just know that he's important enough to be flagged by the guild association obviously know way more than everybody else they know that this guy is a potential problem which means that he's probably very high ranking and he can actually do what he thinks he can do however we all know that the main protag is not gonna go out like no waste man so let him come listen 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 jinnu faced the most scariest thing on the planet so far and have you noticed that he is measuring every single enemy he has to this scary statue looking thing that played him in the first dungeon he ain't scared of nothing we saw it in this episode he wasn't afraid he was just like oh man i'm too weak at no point did i see fear though did you why would he be scared he's not coming for him if anything happens he's not coming for him he's coming for an e-rank hunter um however <laughs> We did get a couple of flashbacks where he was remembering that he had tried to see if this guy had had a second awakening. And so, of course, that's also going to play into things. But let's see how this revenge plan really goes. I can't wait to see that on screen. Okay, so Jinnu and Jinnu both have a really good relationship, in my opinion. It's that typical, you know, cutesy bootsy, older brother, younger sister thing quite nice and wholesome they both have the same common goal which is help it, making sure that their mum is okay Jinnu is focusing on their studies and Jinnu is being the man of the house because we don't know where their daddy is looking after the house and making sure everything's paid and all the bills are paid but you can tell that they love each other they're pretty close they're always joking and you know teasing each other and he does act like the dad slash older brother figure the whole time getting her food treating her to chicken when is this person not eating <laughs> but it's actually quite nice and I, I like that but you also notice that Gina is noticing things like remember the first time she saw him have you gotten taller then she kicked him while they were doing training he didn't even flinch 
And while they were actually doing training, Judy was just running like a boss and she just couldn't keep up. Like she's noticing things and I, I like I like the progression there. To me, what would be nice is if they just move away from this relationship altogether because she is a irrelevant character. She doesn't really have much of her own personality. She's just kind of there to point out the obvious that we can all see anyway. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's great that he has a sister, but I mean, like things that they could add to her character don't mention would be things such as her feeling grateful for what he's doing, the sacrifice that he's making to actually step up and be her parent basically even though he's a child himself he is not going to school he's he's not like working a proper job like he's just paying all of the bills or even seeing her in a different element like with her own friends or i don't know to me she's too like one dimensional and i felt the same way actually in the light novel she's kind of like a npc i felt that way for most of the light novel too um until i didn't and yeah i i get what you're saying like those are really good suggestions yeah gina is not really the kind of character that you you get invested in she's the she's the character for the audience just in case that people have been sleeping in the back and couldn't really keep up with what's going on she's there to like <laughs> make sure wake up hey timmy are you listening are you listening there in the back what i said was you know what i mean she's she's that character and it's cool it works well it doesn't detract away from the story in my opinion no it doesn't. is it unnecessary according to ruka it is according to me it's not because it's visual it's not like you can okay i guess you could rewind it and rewatch it but no no one's gonna do that you know what i mean it's not like a book where you can just reread something over and over again so i like the fact that they've inserted her into the story this way so that the audience can get a better experience do you know what i have to agree with you there actually what she does add even though she is kind of one-dimensional is actually another perspective on Jin Wu and his family life away from just being in the dungeons all of the time it actually bulks out his character a little bit more to see how he is as a family person and how he relates to the other members in his family so okay do you know what I'm going to say you're right on this one and she isn't as useless as I was saying that she was. I'll give her that. Guys, 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 I know you're enjoying this episode, but I know a lot of you aren't actually subscribed. So all you got to do is just press the subscribe button. It's right there. Don't forget to ding that bell. Oh my gosh, tell me that when you saw the Cerberus come down, and I'm calling him a Cerberus, I'm sure that's his name, it's got three heads, it's a dog, it's a Cerberus. When Cerberus came down and was like, you know what, I'm going to eat today, and Junior was like, bring it, and then Junior was getting smashed, my guy was taking L's, he took loads of L's in this fight, however, you know, true to protagonist form, he came out on top, but God, that was a hard fought, a hard fought win, in my opinion. Before I even get into that, let's just say that um, Jin Wu was exercising doing his daily quest and he decided that he was going to see if he could, what would happen if he carried on. The counter stopped at him doing double of everything and he got a secret quest unlocked and he got a reward which was this dungeon key. Yes. He could have had different rewards, that's the one that he picked. He could have had a blessed box, a random cursed box, 10 attribute points, full recovery. So he decided to go with this random blessed box. However, when he gets into the dungeon, I'm thinking, where's the blessed? Where's the blessed? No, okay, it's probably because of the reward because he could get this reward doing the dungeon, which is basically the elixir of life, whatever that Re is. Recipe. Usually, the recipe. okay, the, the, the recipe, recipe for it. The but that's that's still a great reward. Clearly. We don't know what the elixir of life is. They made it play in, in the anime. They they showed it. The moment they saw elixir of life, then they showed his mom. They, we already knew that's the guy. Yeah, okay, 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 uh, okay, yeah, I, you're I, right. I, I get what you're trying to yeah. do, <laughs> but, but when the anime told you, okay, like, you okay, okay, know. yeah, yeah go so he's, he basically wants it because he wants to heal his mom. The Cerebus was crazy. Nothing that he was doing was working. None of his buffs worked. Nothing worked to the point where it didn't even feel pain. Like, how does that even work? Then it had this extra buff where it could just double all its stats. That's, where, that's why it didn't feel pain. My God. 
above. I don't even know how he survived. I don't know how he survived in the book. And even watching it, I'm still like, how did he survive, bruh? Listen, 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 listen. I'm not gonna lie. There's been a few times where the book and and the anime has slightly differed. Not too much. This one right here, there's been a few things that have differed from the book. Like, not necessarily things that have differed, but orderings of stuff like and certain things not being explained in the moment that they were and so on and so forth. But I can categorically say, hand on heart, this fight was better than I imagined it when I read it. The anime did wonders here. It did bits and I, I loved it. I, I enjoyed this fight. Watching this fight was so much better than the book in my opinion. Ratings. So I will give this episode a 9 out of 10. Now, it's a 9 out of 10 for me because... A, the fight was fantastic. They did a lot of alluding to stuff. You got a cool new key in the dungeon and the secret quest not for doing much. And I think they hit most of what I needed from an episode for me to be excited about the next one. Where it lost marks for me was, well, the mark for me was it was too short. I, I could have done with longer. I wanted to know what was going on more. I'm sorry. Like they did, they did a good job here. This one also gets a nine for me. It was what? a really good episode. Wow, well, Ruka, you nine? Yes, it gets a nine. So, you know, it's well deserved because I've been more reserved with my ratings on this season. I really like how this went. The fight was so good. I can't wait till he re enters the dungeon again because things are going to go down. Can't wait to see it on the screen. First of all, thank you so much for watching our episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's Bob Anime Insta. Peace.